Hey guys, so we got a another alert. So YouTube, if you see this, you should definitely shut her shut her down because she is not only facilitating um, pedophile behavior. I feel like because pedophiles are gonna flock to this video. She's like 14, 15 years old. She already got married uh, apparently, according to Drama Alert, and now she's showing kids how to Photoshop photos to make it her butt look bitter, bigger. You're 15. Wait a minute, girl. is she in America? I don't. Yeah, yes, yeah, she is. How is she married? You can get permission from your parents. Remember? <gasps> yeah. But that should be illegal, though. It's not though. What's up guys, it's Sinead here, back with another video, alright, no, I'm going to be photoshopping. Harlanators, this is, this is how bad it's gone on YouTube. What happened to you, like, I swear, after 2016, YouTube turned into a fucking cesspool of bad people. Yeah. It's like all the good people were on YouTube at first, just the geeks and nerds or whatever, or just regular good people, decent people. They and died. Their they, channel died because of them. Yeah, and then these new bad people came through, and now you got all these bad people getting the views. And I'm not trying to judge people. I'm just saying that there's clearly a difference in morals back then versus now. You know, since the Leafy is here era, the rice gum era, contributed to that. Now Leafy is here. And got, now the whole I gotta get, well, well, I gotta give it to. Well, Leah's been here in the community since the beginning. She been she just been the early snake. She was one of the early snakes in the community, but like it didn't really rise to where a lot of bad fucked up people got into the community after rice gum and Leafy hit the scene. To Leafy's credit, he clearly was joking. Rice gum was serious, and then you got all these different types of creators that came in with all these bad influences. Now, I see why you, YouTube is getting so much hate now from the media, because now social media influencers are literally influencing bad things on kids. Mostly it's kids. So is Instagram yeah. and Facebook and Snapchat. In my opinion, but those YouTube, are even worse. Well, YouTube was the... the YouTube was the clean place. YouTube was a place you can come here and watch some cool content. But yeah. now it's like, bro, it's all about clickbait titles. For real. For real. It's not about creativity no more. It's about clickbait titles, making long videos, and talking about stuff and commentary. What I'm doing now, back then on YouTube, was not popular. Now it is the biggest thing on the platform, reacting to videos. Now, gaming videos has always been the biggest thing on YouTube. It will always be like that besides music. But it's just kind of like, man, it's like the way things that people are going about. I don't like the way people are going about doing things, bro. They're willing to create whole channels on a foundation of lies and treachery. Instead of actually building it from just working hard and like living their life. It's fucked up, bro. The mm -hmm. YouTube has changed. And then Stop being I, like a. There's a video on, on the side to say yeah. the circuit chip behind Danielle. I see that. Yeah. Today with my iPhone. Yeah, so everyone is asking for my like Facetune Photoshop routine. So I'm gonna show you guys. You know? Yeah. So let's get into it. Here we have my nice picture right here from Hawaii. Of me holding a ginormous pineapple that's bigger than Bro. my super. Bro. Are we going to go way. into our... Bro. Uh, Bruh. <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> this is tough. Bro. He just made herself thicker. Bro, this is weird, bro. This is so weird. You can see it, too. She actually... What the actual... And her... The top is is not covering her whole boob. She is... This girl is literally... You editing your eyes too, making them look bigger? Where we really want this highlight to be, which is right there, like right there, right there, a little bit underneath the brow bone, a little bit underneath. We should do this to you. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> For Instagram, if you want that Instagram file, but no. Seriously, now I can. You're about to get knocked up beside the head. No, I'm not, not gonna really. This is not. A, I'm no, beautiful. Well, well, I'm not saying there's nothing wrong with photoshopping for 
I guess, entertainment purposes for a movie, but this is like beyond sad because she was editing her body. Now, the she's lighting... already showing the world uh, her basically her, her bathing suit is not even fitting her. Like yeah, she just properly. showing look, she, her top bathing suit. You can still see but, her under boobs. Yeah, it's not gonna worry about that. She's That's fifteen. So sad. Stop saying that about her. She's fifteen, bro. You, I know, but it's so sad. Like you can clearly see. But her. she's fifteen. Don't talk about her like that. She don't know better, bro. All I'm saying is that I'm bringing awareness to this. This is sad, bro. This is sad. She's a 15, 14 year old girl. Where's her mom? Where's her dad? Why is she married? Why is this? Why is she showing an audience this? Girls, little girls are gonna watch her and grow up. This got 845,000 views. She probably influenced about 20% of that audience to go and fucking change their face and everything. So. When a dude sees them on Instagram and DM them, they they want something from her. Like, she making herself look like a grown woman, too. Like, that's not good, bro. You're attracting... It's scary. Yeah, because, like, okay, I'm not going to say no names, but I have a friend that I'm very close to, and his sister used to do the same stuff. And then he was, like, all surprised when later on when she got a little older... She was 15. She got, she had sex with three 20 year olds, bro. And then plus, like, later on, she, like, left home, became, like, a lot of crazy shit happened, bro. Like, bro, I'm telling you, bro, the path she going down, she going to be an internet whore, bro. Or I wouldn't even say she going to be an internet whore. I ain't trying to disrespect the mom. I'm just saying maybe they should look into what she's doing, bro. This is not cool. This is this is not healthy. Can I say something? Sure, you can say something. Like the fact that she thinks it's okay to show herself like that obviously means that her her parents has never given her any boundaries of respecting herself. That's crazy, bro. She legit like that's crazy, bro. That's crazy. Bro. You don't even want to finish the video. I don't, bro. That's nasty, bro. This is... Man, that's... Her parents need to, like, definitely... To me, I don't know if she needs new son, new son of parents. Because her parents need to let her, let her get married at, at that age. Yeah, I, I'm done. I'm done with I'm done with this internet shit, bro. These people crazy. These people crazy. <laughs> <laughs> it's, you know what's so funny is the state's ready to put kids in foster care and stuff like that why is she not in foster care you can clearly see if she's being neglected from her parents she's not being neglected she's happy she's just being taught the wrong thing no that's being neglected allowing your child to do whatever they want like that's actually a form of, of, of neglecting them but neglecting the, it can't be neglection if the child doesn't feel neglected and def neglecting in the definition of neglection in this country at least is that oh they're not feeding you they're not taking care of you they're not no. showing care for you there's a lot of form of neglect i'm like saying neglecting them no, I'm talking by not giving America. them the right kind of love I'm by not teaching no, them what no, they no. should know it's like neglecting them from <laughs> no i'm talking about in america that's what i'm talking about in America, they, like, they not going to Well, why is the state not involved taking her into custody when they realize that her parents is letting her getting married to a grown-ass man at the age of 14 and 15 and having sex? When it's basically already put in law as statutory rape. Oh, but the parents have, but we have, like, they have permission from the parents. I agree with that, and that's the, that's some of the messed up laws they have out here. Where you So... With your parents' permission, because parents are okay with it. The the law is that we can't really do nothing because they see, they see it as okay. But that goes on as far as back as the royal family when they had laws where, actually, at one point the parents had say in who you married back then. The royal families with all the money, like they had say, like, I don't want you to marry this person. And they could, like, literally, like, hurt you, kill you, put you in jail because you didn't obey what the royal family said, who you should marry. So, that law just softened up over time in human history. And now it's like, well, you know, you can't, 
have sex. But any mind. other time you hear about a 14 year old having sex with a grown dude, like they get sent to jail. No questions asked. Well, it could be different if it's hidden, first off. Two, somehow it's got something to do with the parents being okay with it. Because that you can't report statutory rape unless if it's consensual and the parents are okay with it. That's the law. It's wrong. Because no parent in the world should allow an underdeveloped female to be with a grown, developed male. It makes absolutely no sense. It can cause psychological trauma. They can feel like they're not normal. What if that girl grows up and she tells her friends, yeah, I dated a 20-year-old, I was 14. I had sex with a 20-year-old, I was 14. That's going to cause some disparity in terms of um, societal norms because her friends are going to look at her as could possibly could call her a hoe or thought, disgusting, wow, who raised you. Like, that causes boundaries yeah. between other and people And to be honest, there's a huge, huge, like, maturity level difference because let's say he's up here and she's down here right she still lives with her parents has not she's and she's rich too you gotta think about it like this she has never had like to really worry about bills and things like that she's on a different plan for so she's with a, a grown-up that could have possibly been a little different now i'm not saying she's with a grown man She's she she could be married to somebody else, whoever, whatever their age. But I am saying this: if she was with a grown man or mess with older dudes, which she probably has, all the it's crazy because all the rich, fourteen, fifteen year olds, it's so disgusting in America where they end up with like guys ten times their fucking age, like Tyga and Kylie. Tyga and Kylie, at the end of the day, I do not respect Kylie for that thing that she ended up with Tyga. You know what I'm saying? I'm not really a hater. She's living her best life, whatever. Got a child, whatever. Got a different boy for her age, whatever. But I'm saying the fact that she was with Tyga still doesn't sit well with me and a lot of other people. She was for 15. This, 16. This girl who got butt implants, boob implants, lip implants because the whole world was judging her out the gate. She was already insecure, fucked up in the head. Social media took over her life. She probably cares more about likes than other people's lives. You know what I'm saying? And she ended up with this guy who was 26, 27, and she was 15. What? I thought she was 16. It don't matter. It's still a huge age gap. Yeah, there, it is. It's still not an adult. It's over a 10-year age gap. You can't even drink. This dude can drink, smoke cigarettes, do everything in the book. This dude already had a child by another woman that was close to his age. This makes no sense. She just did it for the money. For the, for the what money, property. bro? She's, bro, she's... Because, Arla, she probably got a lot more attention than she was getting. Sometimes it depends on who you date in the Hollywood world, and if you date a certain somebody, that you can actually gain benefits from it. And the fact that he got away with it, because they covered it up so good in the media, they were saying, oh, we're just personal friends, we're just friends, no. And then you look at the Snapchats, he's licking on our fucking face, I'm like, <sighs> this is the world we live in, man. It's very, very dark out there. You gotta watch out, but... Anyways, this is what I think about Daniel Cohn. I know I saw I, the reason why I wanted to go react to this because I heard Kim Star talk about her getting married and she's young as fuck. So I thought it'd be cool to make a video on this. You hmm. like? You gonna say bye? Yeah. Well, I mean, I guess bye. I'm just I'm a little ticked off at the fact that like this little girl's on YouTube and so many men, so many grown men is gonna be going after her. Yeah. I, I already know. She's a young girl. She's going to slip up. And she's going to leak some information out by accident of where she could be at or who she's with. Somebody's, some, there are dudes out there. There are dudes out there that are crazy enough to find the smallest, littlest detail they can that can link back, that, that can link back to you and where you are and who you're with. So I'm a little bit terrified for her. And in my personal opinion, be very careful of what you put 
any of your videos on social media anywhere else because stuff like this you hear it on the news all the time little girls little boys they go missing they get raped they get killed and it's just it's just it's scary it's a dark world and it's not it's not okay whatsoever this little girl is literally sexualizing herself on, in the video on YouTube and that's gonna attract a lot of attention yes and it's gonna attract around the world men around the world men that's outside of the United States men that are in the United States it's gonna attract and probably not even just men like there's women out there there's women out there that are predators for you for little girls too it's just it's scary oh, bro. it's, it's scary. scary there's like read it read up on the news You'll find tons of stories of like of stuff like this happening, and it all ends bad. Oh. Actually, all right. Sorry. <laughs> all right, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. And peace.